James Crazy. That's me! Hey everybody, welcome back to James Plays Tony Hawk's Underground 2. We are going to be finishing up Vegas today and getting out of this cursed hell level. Uh, still, things that can go wrong, probably will go wrong, when it comes to getting goals to work properly. Gaps, there are a couple that are a bit of a pain, but we kind of front-loaded ourselves in clearing a lot of gaps in the first half. So most of what's left is just going to be gotten along the way as part of doing these goals, which hopefully will make things go a little bit smoother. Maybe. Cross your fingers. We're going to start off with a goal here, the one, two, three, four, and land it. And you have to do a little line, a little combo going up the elevators, floor by floor. Excuse me one second. All right. Start off with spine transfer over this slot machine and then go into the elevator. Hit that quarter pipe, back into the elevator. Spine transfer from the roof all the way down back to the slot machine you started at for Icarus's Descent. Next up, we need to do a combo that incorporates grinds on all four sets of escalators. And you may, may see a line here, a loop even, utilizing these ropes. Because they line up with the edge of the escalator, the rails. The rails will propel you so you can get some air and land in a grind on the light riggings that curve around. And then you can go to the other side and repeat that process. Now, there are a couple gaps that we're going to be trying to get along the way that do utilize those ropes as well, so it's convenient. What's not convenient is being able to tell when to jump and clear a gap because you, you got a big old skate boy in your way and I tend to have trouble seeing where the ends of the ropes are and when to jump. Worst comes to worst, we double back and clear those gaps after the goal. But we are going to use focus just to give ourselves a fighting chance here. Ready, set, go. Okay, there we are. We got the rail hop. Gonna slow things down here. Just gonna make sure we get back on this side. Okay. A little early jump to get to this. Big jump. Early jump. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was as clean as could be. The sets of ropes are different on either side. You see, you have the little little pylons here on one side, but not on the other. You have two long ropes on one side and four shorter ropes on the other side, so it's not the same on each side. So, it takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of memorization, a little bit of luck. Next up, we need to do a grind all the way around the dollar sign shaped light rigging. As you go around, there will be a percentage that counts up in increments of two. At least it should. There are uh, times where it won't. That's one of those fun little bugs of this level that I've experienced. But I think we're okay with our, our current, current game at the moment. There's also a gap to get in the middle. Let's just go for it. Or not. Let's just wall ride instead of grinding the thing. That was uh, that was deliberate. That was to trick you. Did did you fall for it? My goodness, that is a. Sh Whew. <laughs> it disappeared. All right, there we go. Get on it. There we are. We got our percentage to start. We did not get the gap yet, so that's fun. Let's slow things down. Still didn't get the gap. We will just keep grinding until we do. How about that? We 
we should get this goal right now. And there we go. There's the gap. Okay. The window for that gap is a little bit strange. You can undershoot it, as you saw. You can also overshoot it. And with the way that the percentages count up, you can also overshoot one of the percentage ticks if you have too much momentum. We slowed things down because, as you may have noticed, a lot of curves here. It's a lot easier to keep your balance if you just slow it down a little bit. All right. So far, so good. Let's head on over to the bar fountain area. What you may not have noticed before is that these are all stores. And the team challenge is to wall ride multiple storefronts in a single combo with each skater. There are six storefronts. Chad Muska has to grind five. Robo Wizard has to do six. High Roller and Maintenance Worker are three and four. Possibly four and three. Can't remember. One second. I've never noticed this before. That is unsettling. Is there a, a fun name here? Tamson. If there's some some joke here, I don't know it. But yeah. Team challenge, wall ride the storefronts. You may guess that it's not gonna cooperate. Like previous ones have also been difficult with us. We're going to come back and start these once we switch over to the maintenance worker. Because if we do this with Chad now, it won't register. We'll have to do it with Chad later. Excuse me one second. All right. We're going to instead just go right up to the roof. And we've got some goals out here. First one is going to require us to acid drop into this pool from the diving board. But there's a slight problem. We reloaded the level. So the diving board is once again intact, or whatever you would call that thin little line there. Uh, I, I guarantee you it is there. Let's try from a different angle, see if it actually shows up. Uh, no? Okay, well, I, I promise you it's there, and I will prove it to you by breaking it once again. All right, now it's not there. Now we can actually acid drop into the pool. And after we do that, we spine transfer down to the bar fountain area, grind some light riggings across the bar, and go through that waterfall with a backflip. Now, this is not necessarily a difficult thing to do, but I, I have thought that before about other goals. So we are going to take a moment and actually do a save state. All right. Now we get on top of the board. Acid drop into the pool. Spine transfer. Oh, that's a big jump. There we go. All right. We were starting to launch a little too far, and I was going to miss those lights, so... A little bit of course correct by getting off our board. Always, always good. Got ourselves this pool over here. Just showing you a little bit of uh, the area so you know which pool I'm talking about specifically. And we need to do a 200,000 point combo entirely localized within this pool. Not too difficult, actually. You can uh, do some grinds here, build up your multiplier this way. Slow things down just to be on the safe side. There we go. Beautiful. Whew. So the next goal, I hate very, very much. Very, very much. We have these these vents. These little ramp vents. We also have some building faces. 
And these jerkwads expect you to launch off of these vents, sticker slap those building faces, come back down, launch over the vents, then launch off of the vent with precision timing to sticker slap the other building, all in a single combo. There is also a gap here where you go up one ramp and you land on the other ramp. There's a lot of assumptions here in what kind of momentum you are going to be having as you are flying through the air. It's it's very, very difficult to do. What I found gives me the best hope is you start on the sort of rightish side, not all the way over, but favoring the right side here, coming down a little bit and jumping in this direction to hit the building. You come back, land in a manual, launch yourself over this way. By doing the jump this way, uh, without too much forward momentum, you can kind of hit the building a little bit lower, so you will actually hit the ground in a manual in front of the ramp, giving you a chance to launch across without too much speed, which will hopefully let you land on the ramp on the other side and give you enough of a chance to jump off of that that vent. It's a very tight window, and I hate it very, very much. So, I... I've, I've done enough rambling, let me just fill up my special again, and you know we are dropping a save state here. You know we are. So let me get set up and do that. Alright, we want to jump pretty soon after we start moving forward. That should give us enough momentum to make it to the building, but not too much momentum where we hit high on the building. The lower the better. There we go. That's pretty good. I'm going to slow things down. Jump pretty early on the ramp so that we can hopefully land on this other ramp. And we didn't. That's fine. It's, it's not really fine, but we're going to try to make the best of a very bad situation here. Okay, that worked. Whew, all right. You may have noticed it said that there were three buildings, not two. That's just how this game wants to be. But yeah, um, we got the infinity gap by going from one vent and landing on the other one. You can overshoot that. I think you can even undershoot that, but yeah, I tried my best to make sure I landed on this event and gave myself enough time to launch off of it to the building. Still wasn't good enough, but I managed to managed to make it work. I would recommend not doing what I did, because it's just making more work for yourself. Still, I believe you can do it. I believe in you. You too can be good at games. Now our final goal up here is a pool tour of sorts. We need to spine transfer from one pool to the next. You don't have to do it in a combo, which is good, but they do give you a very small window of time to go from one pool to the next. Let's try our best. Alright, and then the big finish is to go down here, into the bar. Beautiful. Pool tour is done. We've done everything that we're going to be doing with Chad Muska at the moment. We just need to figure out how to get out of here. And we're looking for that ladder we dropped. Ladder is all the way over there.
go back up for the maintenance worker. Whew. He has a goal which is almost guaranteed to be very broken, but still doable. So we are just going to go along with it. And we will get to that eventually. But you saw we've got things to do with the slot machines. A lot of things to do with the slot machines. Well, that's not... Well, yeah, kind of. But anyway, um, we're going to go through here. What I'm trying to say is his goals kind of blend together. But we go back in here. This is where we first found the maintenance worker. And we're going to grind this rail, do some wall rides, and keep grinding our way up. Uh, section by section. Until we get over here. Sticker slap that. Dollar symbol crash through the roof. And no, we're not done yet, Tony. That's our destruction for this level. And now there's money all over the place. Including in this bank area, which we opened up. 20 pieces of cash. There's some on these ledges. And now we're over here at the slot machines. And we need to grind these buckets off of the tops of the slot machines. There's only 10. So we've already gotten three of those. I missed that one. All right. Now the rest of the cash is going to be on these poker or blackjack tables and the roulette. So you just want to go around. Then you want to hit the roulette. Oh, I think I got that piece. Yeah, I got that piece. All right. Then the other table right over here. That takes care of that. Back to the slot machines. We've got some more buckets. There's four on this set, but there's two on each side. So you grind one side to get two of them. Grind this side to get the other two. And then there's three more that are on this little back section here. And that takes care of all that. Now we're going to go back up to where we found the maintenance worker. And along the way, we are going to be going for the uh, team challenge real quick. Oh, okay. That was weird. Keep it going. Just keep it going. All right, there we are. So he's done. Now we'll go hit that ladder. Uh, no, not acid drop, you silly bean. There we go. And we have the slot machine coin release. Now, we're supposed to hit that, and then we have a minute to do a combo on six slot machines. That's how it's supposed to work. You can only combo on machines that are blinking... You hit that switch, I think it turns them all on. Anyway, uh... That's how it's supposed to work. Let's see if it actually does. Alright, see how they're all flashing? See how I'm doing a combo? And it says I have five machines to go? And how it's saying I'm not in a combo? That means it's broken. You want to know how we do this mission now? That. You just kind of skate up to him. And then to land it. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> um... What can I say? This is... I, I do not know what is so wrong with this level that so many things can just get so messed up with it. But... Oof. At least that one you can actually still complete. But it's very, very silly. It's all silly. Now, since we have switched to all of the skaters, we can now properly do the wall ride team challenge with Chad and with the others. Just for the sake of making this a little bit smoother, it is better to slow things down. As you see, you're kind of trying to hit ledges, but with the way everything kind of curves around, the way some of the ledges come out, and other ones are real close, and it's just you can latch on or not latch on to so many different things in this section that slowing things down just makes it a lot easier. Hopefully don't mess up. Hello, Mr. High Roller. Time for you. Little Franklin grind for you. That wasn't intentional. All right, not too bad. Now the big finish is to return to our Robo Wizard where it all began. There he is. There he is. And then once we do that, we will be all set and we'll go see Mr. Tony. We gotta hit all six shops so there's no room for missing one. There we go. Beautiful. And we get a text. All done. So as far as I am aware, maybe I've missed something. I'll have to compare the cutscenes after I, I've got them side by side. But this cutscene... Uh, cutscene. That's the... Uh, that's the illegitimate child of Charlie Sheen. This cutscene is exactly the same as the one from New Orleans, just set in Vegas. So, if there's anything different, you'll see it. If there isn't, well, that's the end of this. So, I will see you guys next time at the final level for story mode. Alright, alright. Love ya. Mwah. Bye-bye. Oh, whoops. The equalizer. Okay, I forgot about this. The equalizer is a gnarly all-team stunt. You pull it off and we're all tied up. Man, the equalizer is going to be hardcore. Me and the boys are going to run upstairs and borrow a helicopter. Meet us up there. Take off, just grab on and bust some insane tricks. Come on, let's do this. Silly me. This is the equalizer. This is what we did in New Orleans. It's just uh here in Vegas now. Mostly the same, just utilizing this level. There we go. All right. 
now I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye bye. <laughs>